All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm showing you a dynamic effort lower body workout. I just started off with some jump squats, some barbell jump squats on my back. Uh, I've been playing around with doing these weighted jumps. I'm not anywhere near as proficient as I should be, but uh, it's just something to play around with. So I did 155 pounds. I worked up to, a let's say, a max triple. And uh, I think those will benefit anyone that is involved in any sport or even like powerlifting would help. So here I did eight sets of five. This would be considered more so something to work on conditioning. So I did eight sets of five. I rested a minute between each set and got them done pretty quickly. This is 225 pounds with, let's say... 100 pan, uh, 80 to 100 pounds of band on the bar. If you'll notice here in this set, I want you to take note of something. The way I'm holding the safety squat bar as opposed to the previous set, I find this is the best way to hold the safety squat bar because it avoids you pulling down or pushing up and it just allows the upper back to work as it's supposed to work and the lower body to work how it's supposed to work. So I would give that a try if you have a safety squat bar or if your gym carries one and you use it frequently. Then this is my main set for deadlifts. Like I said, I work up doing two, maybe three sub-maximal sets with this weight just to get myself acclimated to the weight. And then I try and do as many reps as I can. I really dig doing this with chains as opposed to bands. It's almost like doing a rack pull. So it helps with the traps, the lats, the back, the glutes, all the lockout muscles. As opposed to, let's say, the quads and the muscles that break it off the floor. So if you have any problems breaking it off the floor, then I would definitely not suggest over-relying on bands. But if you don't, go ahead. So here I think I got 14 reps. I thought I got 15. I miscounted. I'll have to try that again when I implement this back in on a three-week wave. But uh, it was, uh, I, I, I really, really like this for deadlifts on dynamic day. I'll try, I tried it for squats, but I don't know. I feel like squats just involve, because there's no rest at the top, it's really, really fatiguing with squats. Whereas deadlift, you can put it down just for like a mini rest. I don't know. Give it a shot with either or. Then I did some belt squats. This is 335 pounds. I believe I did two sets of 15. I'm really liking this belt squat attachment. It feels, I've never used a, I don't want to say proper, but a bigger, like dedicated belt squat machine, but it can't feel much better than this. Maybe it can load more weight, but there's no way it feels superior to this. So like I said, I did two sets of 15. You really feel it in the glutes, hamstrings, quads, everywhere you're supposed to, and it feels exactly like a squat. So this would be good for home gym owners that don't have access to a leg press because you're not loading up your back in any way and you're still getting a squat movement pattern, but you don't have to worry about balancing the bar on your back. This can even be great for older people, beginners that don't have the motor pattern down yet. I really, really like this attachment. But that's all there is today. for today. I did some minor stuff afterwards. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And as always, class is dismissed.